Hey guys, in today's video we'll be talking about this awesome TV stand that I got from Home Depot a couple months ago. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Usually on the channel I like to do furniture overhauls, flips, things like that. So if you're interested in all that good stuff, check out my channel and hopefully you subscribe after watching this video. Without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So I got this TV stand back in January of 2022, and I got it shipped to home straight from the Home Depot website. What I paid for it was $142 out the door, and this product still is available on the Home Depot website. However, I have noticed that the price has gone up, and this color that I have is not available right now. But if you're still interested in buying one of these TV stands, it does come in quite a few other different color schemes, which is pretty cool. I think the dark blue one here looks pretty sweet. The prices are a little bit different for each color scheme, but it's cool to see that the product has not been discontinued. A link for the TV stand will be listed down in the description box below. So when I received the TV stand from HomeDepot.com, the box did come a little bit damaged, but I was lucky enough to find that all of the contents inside the package were not damaged. Then here, we are going to fast forward to the assembly. Now, I don't have hardly any footage of me putting together the TV stand. I wish I did, but I can tell you that there were a surplus of parts everything fit fairly well together everything felt of high quality and the instructions were very easy to follow in just a matter of time about an hour my dad and i were able to throw this thing together and ready to be put into place now you can probably tell my living situation just by the things that i have put on the tv stand I live alone and I have just a bunch of car stuff on the TV stand, but man, I can't tell you how excited I was to decorate this thing once I got it into the spot I wanted it at. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the build quality, design, and also the dimensions of the piece. So in terms of how big this thing is, it is 54 and 1 8 of an inch long by 15 and a half wide by 30 and one quarter inch high. It is not a huge piece, but it's also not a small piece. I think it's a really good, easy balance of something that's not too big and not too small. In terms of build quality, the top piece, that wood, it's really nice to look at, but not just that, it also feels pretty good. And when you give it a knock from your hand, it does feel pretty sound. Doesn't feel like it's cheap or it's gonna break easily if you try and move it around a couple times. The doors on this thing, they slide open and close very, very easily. Almost little effort is needed to move them back and forth. They're on this metal track with these metal wheels. And like I said, very easy to slide in and out. The doors themselves, they are made of a skinnier, thinner wood. They do sound kind of fragile, so if I was moving this thing from one house to another, I'd be careful of what I put up against that piece of furniture and make sure those doors stay away from anything that could end up damaging them. But overall, build quality is very, very good, especially for this price point. The handles that come with the doors are made of metal, so they sound pretty good when you tap on them and also just when you're handling them. Along with that track that the doors slide on, that is made out of metal. The only thing that is kind of sounding cheap is the way the doors sound when they slide open, but I don't think that's a, too big of a deal. So when you open up either side of the doors, you are greeted with three adjustable shelves on each side. However, some of them do come equipped with these two beavers. Oh, 
Oh, brother, this guy stinks! All right, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program with these shelf measurements. The two outside shelves offer you 15 by one half inch in length, while the middle set of shelves offer you 18 and five eighths inches of length. And both of those are 12 inches deep. Moving on to my final thing about this TV stand, this is what the back side of it looks like for those who are wondering. Each one of the shelving areas, it does have a hole up top and a hole on the bottom. That way you can run your wires to whatever you got going inside of the storage units. My overall thoughts on this TV stand, I think it was 100% worth the price, $142 for this. I would definitely do it all over again if I had to. It's a high quality, very affordable piece of furniture that not only looks great, but I think it'll definitely hold up in the long term of things. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel. See what I am all about here on the Slay Art channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Have a great day.